Uh, here we are, the final episode of our back to school guide. I'm super excited to show off these laptops today. These are the top dogs, best of the best. And boy, howdy, I'm impressed. Nowadays, they're built more for than just gaming. So let's take a closer look. Now, when you hear gaming laptops, the first thought that generally comes to mind is made only for gaming. In this guide, we show you that not only can you get into high-end gaming, but you can do so much more. For example, school, work, video, photo, and music production. You can execute a multitude of tasks and excel in your programs. All the best features and no compromise. The gaming laptop category, especially on the higher end of the spectrum, you'll always find a wicked fast SSD, which typically tends to be an M.2, a GTX 1070, and tons of RAM. The processor will be an H series, which tells us it's a high power processor to do whatever work you throw at it. We're going to focus on three major laptops this week, built for students who want to just do, well, everything. Now let's head down to our Calgary South location and check them out. The first thing you'll notice at our Calgary South location is our awesome labyrinth of laptops and our stellar monitor slash TV wall. It's really cool. Make sure to check it out next time you're here. First, we're going to look at the MSI GS65 Stealth. You remember this video from PAX East as we had a chance at a first hand look. The GS65 is an absolutely gorgeous laptop. MSI upgraded this premium lineup from red accents to an all new gold trim. BEA beautiful. The crazy thing about this laptop is for all the power it's packing for the specs. It's the thinnest and lightest all the laptops we're looking at today. And it packs one heck of a punch. Also note that it has three fans that keep it cool. The GS65 comes with the Intel Core i7-8750H, a 512 gig SSD, 15.6 full HD 144 inch screen, a GTX 1070, Windows 10 Pro, and stock 32 gigs of RAM. Our ports on board, Thunderbolt port three, and one mini display port, as well as three USB type ones. We have a USB 3.1 Gen 2 type C, obviously standard USB for internet, and of course a 3.5 millimeter combo mic and headset out port. So if you're listening to anything or recording, you're good to go. So game design students, this laptop is designed for the long run. Digital media and game design courses tend to run between two to four years. That's a long time. You will need a machine that will be with you every step of the way. Now we're gonna shift our attention over to the Gigabyte Aero 15X. The Aero is another premium thin laptop designed for gaming, but this one leans a little more towards a film of photography students. You'll see why. The specs again show us it is another high-end premium laptop. The Intel i7 8750H, 16 gigs of RAM, which you can expand with the 32 gigs with just by adding another 16 gig stick, a 512 gig M.2 NVMe SDSD, as well as a GTX 1070 Max-Q. Windows 10 Pro is on there, of course, as well. So some of the ports we have on there is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A. We got a bunch of USB 3.1, so we have two of those. Thunderbolt, USB Type C. You have your standard HDMI, mini display port as well, your internet jack. And again, we have another combo microphone headphone jack. Take a look at this thing. It's nuts. The Gigabyte laptop is rocking a 15.6 inch, near bezel design with 4K ultra high def Adobe RGB 100% IPS panel. If you got any sort of visual or color sensitive work, you need this machine. This very special 4K panel covers the entire Adobe RGB spectrum. All of it. In a laptop, amazing. The Aero 15X, absolutely uncompromised visuals, a crisp 4K image, the monitor tuned in with the entire Adobe RGB color Gamut. Gives you the best range of visuals and all the displays are tuned in and calibrated through X-Rite Pantone to ensure accurate colors. So for you creators, take note, it's the only one to offer an onboard built-in full-size SD card reader as well. It's UHS-2 compliant, meaning you can transfer files so fast that your fidget spinners will catch dust. Lastly, we're taking a look at the newly designed Asus ROG Zephyrus M. We got our hands on this at the Calgary South store and I was crazy impressed with the new design. Excellent work, Asus. The Zephyrus M mouse pad slash scroll pad is improved and easier to use. Really happy with the precision and tactile feedback. The cooling solution for the GPU is almost overkill. A whopping six heat pipes and two massive fans precisely fit in the upper half of the machine. What crazy is you get so much more with the keyboard and keys and especially when it comes down to gaming. I wish every laptop keyboard felt this good. The specs on the Zephyrus M are as good as it looks. Rocking again that Intel Core i7-8750H, 16 gigs of RAM, a 256 SSD with an additional one terabyte SSHD and a full power GTX 1070. The big benefit from the Zephyrus here, it's all around workhorse, a jack of all trades really. So if you're using it for AutoCAD, design, photography, it's all around good choice. The Zephyrus M is the only one of the three here that comes with a one terabyte SSHD. This is important for massive storage of files without an external hard drive or cloud access at school. 
The Zephyr Sun brings that storage ability to wherever you go. Of course, all these laptops will play any game on the market today beautifully. So if you need time in between your courses and you have peace of mind knowing that playing games like Dauntless, Dreadnought, and heck, even The Witcher 3, it won't look like a potato. Also fun fact, that these all have one cool piece of future technology, Thunderbolt 3. This opens up options for the future, like getting an external graphics card a few years down the road, connecting to a high-speed server, or network and mind-blowing resources access at a specialized tech company. Pretty cool. And that's it for gaming laptops this week, crew. I appreciate you letting me take you on this wonderful journey for back to school. And I hope it helped. Don't forget guys, our MEXP is going on all month with our sponsor being Seagate. That's right guys, they gave us three two terabyte fire CUDA SSHD drives to give away. So make sure you guys are commenting and being part of this community. Of course, let us know in the comments below if you picked up a new laptop because of this guide or if you just picked one up, I'd love to know. Now, to announce next week's videos. So new Friday means new vids, right? New tech stuff. So we're doing a build challenge. We're starting from the bottom up, so as low as you can go and going ultra over the next course of four weeks. We wanna see how low you can go the build, like Fortnite and what we can do with the top end system. So it's gonna be a fun journey and I hope you guys stay with us for this build guide and the show you don't have to spend like thousands upon thousands of dollars just for gaming. I mean, you don't need a $3,000 Fortnite machine and we're gonna show you guys why. So make sure you guys tune in for that. So guys, I'm Steve from Memory Express. I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Don't forget to show up and talk to me on social media. So Facebook and Twitter are the same at Memory Express. And our Instagram is official Memory Express. So guys, I will see you guys Monday with, well, another surprise video, which I won't announce. I'll, I guess I'll announce Monday, but it's gaming related. So get ready for that. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. And we're gonna do double dab, just like that. There you go. See you guys. Where am I going? I'll go this way. I don't know where I'm going.